slip form and jump form construction. First we need to know, what is formwork? Temporary boarding or sheeting erected to contain freshly placed and compacted concrete until it has gained sufficient strength to be self-supporting. Now we see slip form construction. Slip form construction or continuously formed is a construction method in which concrete is poured into a continuously moving form. This technique is one of the most productive techniques for construction of high-rise structures like, communication towers, chimneys, bridge, prize, silos, etc. Types of slip forms are vertical slip form and horizontal slip form. Reinforcement in slip forms The progress of slip form is mainly affected by timely tying of reinforcement bars. In view of constraints of space certain precautions are considered while making bar bending schedule. Point 1 in view of convenience in lifting and handling the length of vertical and horizontal bars is restricted to like 3 meter, 4 meter etc. Point 2, the diagonal bars around openings are avoided. Point 3, stirrups are taken in two pieces only. Connection to slab and beam. We are using, couplers and quick a strip, ease a strip, or pull out bars. Now we see the couplers. Point 1. Couplers are designed to splice the reinforcement bars where at least one of the bars could be rotated. Point 2, the bar ends to be spliced are saw cut and taper threading is provided on bar ends. Point 3, the bars are connected initially by hand tightening and then with pipe wrench. Now we see the quick strip, ease strip, or pull out bars. Point 1, the concept of quick strip or ease strip is to maintain the reinforcement continuity across the construction joints in concrete. Point 2, the quick strip unit comprises special pre-bent reinforcement housed in a purpose-designed carrier casing, all of which is fabricated off-site in a factory-controlled environment. Point 3, normal applications include, walls, floor slabs, staircase landings, stair flights, pile caps, underpinning etc. Point 4, on site, the entire unit is cast into the front face of the wall. After the formwork is struck, the lid is removed to reveal the connection legs, or starter bars, laying inside the casing. These legs are bent out by the contractor, ready for lapping the main reinforcement of the consequent pour. Slip Form Core Wall Detailing Guidelines We need follow pour bond as per EC2. Trimmers are accepted but don't provide the anti-crack bars. Detail as U-bars instead of L-bar. Wall horizontal bars to be stopped before corner or junction at least 50 to 100 mm distance. Wall horizontal bars and U-bars to be same length. Those conditions are helping to cast the rebar fast in slip form method. Now we see the jump form construction. Jump forms are another method for the construction of the cores, that house the lifts, staircases etc., for high-rise buildings and similar structures. The structure is cast in a series of vertical sections called lifts. After the concrete has gained sufficient strength the formwork is moved back and then jumped to the next level above. For most structures a crane is used to lift the complete assembly to the higher level. However, for larger structures this may be impracticable, requiring the use of self-climbing systems that have built-in hydraulic lifting jacks. Thank you. For more videos please subscribe feel free creations rebar details.